What is up, people? Uh, Tommy Topher here today doing a review of uh, Iron Trans Star Blade Star Saber IRV01. Got this guy from Show's E Store. Now, I want to prep this by saying that man, it is dog hot in my apartment. I have no AC in this room, lights, noon, sky. It's like uh, 95 degrees in this room. Very depressing. Anyways, I'm going to crack this open. Probably not show you any transformation because this guy is a minimal transfer transformer. He's like a parts former. Um, yeah, so uh, there you go. He looks great, right? Uh, the CG in the back there. Looks great. Um, the box when it came to me was a little depressing. It had this, let's see this that hole here, right? It was shipped with a hole. Also, I'll get, I guess I'll pause and I'll be right back and show you what else issues I had. Okay, be right back. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys. You see how basically the uh, plastic tray there? It's mostly, for the most part, disintegrated. Right, and it arrived like that to me from Show Z store. You know, not a fault of Show Z, but uh, you know, it's a uh, very minimal plastic. You can see my hand back there. That cracked off in conjunction with uh, the hole in the box. And I think most people have issues with this figure is that the hands they fall apart. So my hands are not. Uh, glued together, right? Um, this hand was okay, it was intact. This, the uh, right hand, any hand, I guess, it was completely off. It was initially missing three fingers, right? And I was depressed, I couldn't find any of the fingers, right? And I was concerned that uh, they fell through the box, the shipping box as well. But uh, luckily for me, I was shaking the figure up. The fingers were, you know, in here, in here, right? And uh, I have all the fingers, so yeah. At least, at least that's the story. Okay, I'm going to get this figure into completed combined mode and be right back. So I wasn't going to show you guys this, but I thought, you know, I guess uh, since I'm not doing uh a transformation video for this figure I at least should give you guys a little bit of something right anyway so this is the little figure here and of course the cool thing with this set is that he's got a little pilot you know the pilot in there and how cool is this guy right he has there they go so hopefully you guys can see that full joint articulation that's a proper word you know it goes up and down back and forth yeah oh, and once again uh, you know this office being 95 degrees it's pretty brutal while I'm doing this it's hot okay right in there Okay, and of course, you know, once you have him in place, you know, collapses his uh, arms, his legs, we'll then tap together, do this, okay, tap together, and then they just fold forward. These little tabs there that you can see, four. The leg taps there, right? and uh, it might look odd first off, but uh, he just wedges into the chest cavity, okay, uh, like that. He just wedges in. Oh yeah, I think uh, we have to move the uh, shoulders out. Okay, so I'll be right back. Should just wedge in 
this. Maybe my arms are a little bit askew. Yep, a little bit of editing there. Like that. Okay, alright, I'll be right back. So, you know, I, I didn't do a full-on transformation video for this guy because he really doesn't need it. It's very minimal. Uh, uh, and again, if uh, any star blade iron trans uh, experts out there know, let me know. Should these hands be glued together? Uh, I'm not sure why both of these hands are not glued together. They pop off when you play with the figure. Um, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, some people don't like, um, I guess, the friction joints for this figure, but these friction joints are awesome. They're basically on par with uh, magnificent Mecca's joints, right? Uh, he is a parts former, uh, I guess, what, you, what would you say, tuxedo former, right? But I wanted to get this figure because he looks quite nice. I have the Hasbro Haztec version on order. I also asked uh, Shozy Store about uh, getting reissues, restocks of the Planet X CAD Mose. I'm going to try to purchase that as well, eh, depending on if I have the space or not. Uh, so for me, uh, this figure is 98% uh, awesome. Uh, what I don't like is just his shoulder articulation so let's see if you can see here um, you see those abrasion points back there right and that's because you know the, those panels you know they lock in what they want you to do is I guess uh, open these things up and, right to get articulation but it's not very good right? they collide constantly I don't know how to I guess forward like that right to get the arms out but uh, yeah, everyone, I think everyone will have those abrasion points there. Okay, uh, that's all for me for now. Later. Thanks. Bye. Shows you store. Iron Trans IRV01 Starblade. It's a pretty nice figure. Plastic is pretty good. Aesthetics are pretty awesome for this figure. I guess this is my one tuxedo former. Tuxedo former figure. Yeah. Not too shabby. That's pretty cool there. There's uh, new panels for the transformation, right? Okay.